I'm David Podell. I'm the president of Mass Bay Community College. I want to welcome all of you to our wonderful, relatively new building in Framingham, open to January. This, of course, is not just a press conference. It's also a celebration of Mass Educate, the new program that began this September that allows Massachusetts residents to enjoy free community college uh, on top of Mass Reconnect, which began last year, which was more or less the same for those over 25 years old. It's a revolutionary change in higher education in Massachusetts, and in this regard, we are a leader, as, uh, as you all know. It's a fantastic opportunity for our students and uh, for our Commonwealth. Let me start by acknowledging that the Wellesley, Framingham, and Ashland campuses of Mass Bay sit on land that European colonists appropriated from the Nipmunk, Massachusetts, and Pawtucket tribes. Mass Bay cannot change the past, but what we can do is honor the land, the ancestors, and the indigenous traditions as we at Mass Bay use this land as a communal place to nurture learners to move forward and make a more inclusive world. I'm delighted uh, this after, uh, at this present time to welcome the distinguished state officials who made Free Community College a reality. Governor Maura Healy, Senate President Karen E. Spilka, Senate Chair of the Joint Committee on Higher Education, Joe Comerford, House Chair of the Joint Committee on Higher Education, Dave Rogers, Education Secretary Patrick Tutwiler. Uh, we have here also two of uh, outstanding students who have benefited from free community college programs, our own student, Grace Arena, and from Cape Cod Community College, Sarah Gutierrez. I'd also like to acknowledge uh, in the audience and uh, welcome uh, Senator Michael Roderick, Chair of Ways and Means Committee, uh, Senator Creighton, Senator DiDomenico, Senator Eldridge, Senator Oliveira, Senator Pacheco, Representative Gregoire, uh, Framingham Rep uh, Priscilla Souza, uh, I should say reps, Priscilla Souza, Jack Lewis, and Kate Donahue, Lauren Jones, uh, Secretary of Labor and Workforce Development, Noe Ortega, Commissioner of Higher Education, and all of my fellow college, community college presidents. There's another group I'd like to acknowledge uh, for myself at Mass Bay and for my colleagues of the other community colleges, and those are the staff members in the admissions offices, in the financial aid offices, in the advisement offices, and other offices. They certainly deserve that round of applause because in the last few months, they have uh, worked tenaciously to help students enter community college under Mass Educate who might otherwise not have gotten a, a community college education or a higher education. And they worked tirelessly to make it happen. So I wonder if they could stand, those from admissions, uh, financial aid, and advisement. We all thank you. Uh, so helping us with this uh, present moment uh, is our really good friend in Framingham, the mayor, uh, Charlie Sosicki. Mayor Sosicki? Thank you, Dr. Patel, and uh, welcome, everybody. As the mayor, I welcome all of you to Framingham, and especially our distinguished guest, including Governor Moore Healy, Lieutenant Governor Kim Driscoll, our Senate President Karen Spilka, and others. And I also like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Framingham City Council Chairman Phil Ottaviani. Um, there's so many senators and state reps here today that <laughs> the rumor I heard was that you're gonna have a special session of legislature <laughs> after this meeting. I don't know if that's true, but that'd be nice. Um, <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know, and I, when I heard there was going to be such a large group here, I was tempted to uh, read my 10-page list of requests for the city of Framingham. <laughs> but I, I figured I, I'd keep that in my pocket for another time because today is all about education and celebrating the new opportunities for free education at community colleges. That's what it's all about. It's appropriate to host this event at the new uh, campus of Mass Bay Community College here in Framingham. And as you may know, Framingham is an immigrant community where more than 40% of the residents 
speak English as a second language. While 85% of our residents have a high school diploma, less than half have a higher degree than that. The Commonwealth's new free education program will enable many in our community and throughout the state to continue their education and help them unlock their full potential, pursue their passions, and contribute meaningfully to society. That's the re real reason why I'm here, and I'm so happy to welcome all of you to this exciting event. It's now my honor to introduce our Governor, Maura Healy. Thank you, Mayor, and thank you, President Podell. It's um, great to be back at Mass Bay. It's great to be among so many terrific people, uh, colleagues. Welcome to all of our wonderful community college presidents who are here. We love the work that you're doing all across the state. Uh, thank you to the Mayor, City Council. Thank you to um, our Senate President, Spilka. We're in your your home, your home district here, uh, which is always great. And we're also here because of your passion and your leadership in making sure that Massachusetts leads when it comes to universal community college. Thank you. We thank, we thank Chair Rodericks, um, you know, for, uh, for all that uh, his team is doing and working with colleagues to deliver the budget that we need, um, and to Chair Michael Witz as well. The chairs of higher ed who are here, Joe Comerford, thank you, Senator Comerford, and Rep Rogers, Dave Rogers, thank you. All of our legislative partners, I think you were all listed. Uh, we appreciate uh, you very, very much. We have members of our Board of Higher Education, Danielle Allen and Christina Royal, thank you so much for, for being with us as well. And members of our team, Lieutenant Governor Driscoll, Secretary Tutwiler, Secretary Lauren Jones, it's important, education, labor, and workforce, right? This is all working together. This is how we see, see the world. Um, and then of course, Commissioner Ortega, thank you so much for what you do, you and your teams. And particularly to the students, you'll hear from Sarah and Grace in just a little bit. But look, we just came from a roundtable discussion and heard firsthand about what this means, how transformational it is for students and for their families. Words like, you know, this is giving people the backbone that they need. This is relieving. Because when we did this, and we, we launched initially with Mass Reconnect, those 25 and older, I'm so grateful to the Senate President, to the legislature for you know, working to make sure that this is now universal. This is a big deal. We estimated when we started um, just 20 months ago that there are approximately 700,000 people in Massachusetts who graduated from college, maybe had a degree, uh, excuse me, a credit or two towards something, maybe were thinking about moving on, but for one reason or another, weren't able to. We heard the real stories. Some of them started down a path of higher education but couldn't afford it or got sick or their families experienced homelessness, right? All these things that are barriers to people moving forward. And what is so beautiful about this program is that now this can change the life course, the trajectory for those individuals. And with that, their kids, their families, whole generations. This is about Massachusetts leadership. We're number one in innovation. We're number one in education. We were just ranked the number one place to have a baby, to raise a family, number one place to live if you're a woman. Woman, We've got so much going for us. Massachusetts leads, as we have from the very beginning. Remember, Massachusetts is home to the first public school in the country and the first library. So this is our DNA. But what's important about this today is this is universal community college, okay? Community college for free but with supports. Because what we also heard about were stories of people who started down that road, but unless they had people like Josh and Jackie here at Mass Bay who are making sure they have housing supports, that they actually had that gift card for food that they needed that night or groceries that week, you know, that they had that Uber ride, they wouldn't have been able to stay in programs and in community college. And so while other states have universal community college. It's a good thing. Nobody's doing it like Massachusetts because we're making sure that you actually have the supports to stay, to stay in college. 
You know, already, um, you guys got to know what the ROI has been on this. It's a big deal. You know, we came in, we launched Mass Reconnect. That resulted in 4,500 students returning or going to community college. Awesome. Do you know what Mass Educate is yielding in just the first semester alone of this project? And we just launched 10,000, more than double. And we estimate that it's going to be 45,000 in no time, in just a year. So think about that, because behind every one of those individuals is a family um, and is, and is, a, and is a, a, an opportunity that's going to result in growth for them individually and also economic growth for our state. These are the kinds of investments that we want to make. And so I am just grateful to be here today at Mass Bay. Great example of the programming that's happening at community colleges, um, particularly when we think about it at Mass Bay, health sciences, early childhood, the Human Services Center, um, and so much more. We also heard from folks who are in the accounting program and the automotive program. Um, all wonderful, wonderful stuff. Expanding the pipeline of students, expanding um, the, the, the pipeline of, of opportunity and possibility. So grateful to the team here and let's just continue to get the word out about this great program. It is now my privilege to turn it over to a visionary leader who saw the value in making sure that we had Universal Community College um, and did the work with our friends in the legislature to come up with the funding. I do think, Chair, it is a great ROI for our state and with that I'm going to turn it over to our Senate President, Karen Spilka. Good morning. Good morning. Great, everybody's awake. This is a very this is a very exciting day. So it's wonderful to look out and see all of you here to support this program and smiling because it is so ex exciting. And all of you know how transformational this is and will continue to be for Massachusetts in so many different ways. So welcome, uh, welcome to Mass Bay, and welcome to Framingham. Welcome to this beautiful new building. It still is new. I consider it new. Uh, it, it's a great investment in, in one of our many wonderful community colleges. Thank you, Governor Healy, for being such a terrific partner, not only in higher ed and education in general, but everything. This doesn't happen by one or two people alone or one branch of, of the, the government itself either. This is a true partnership. So thank you. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. Um, Thank you, uh, um, Chair Comerford, uh, Senate Chair of Higher Education, who has also been uh, one of the most passionate persons I know, not only in Massachusetts, but on Earth, really. And I don't say that lightly. Uh, wonderful energy and has really helped make this happen. Thanks, Chair Rogers, for helping with the funding and making sure that it happens. Thanks to all of the other senators that are here, and there are many, as Mayor Szyzycki noted, but I think that shows how important this has been to the Senate and to the legislature. There's representatives here as well, Chair Ro Rogers, Rep. Sousa, uh, Gregoire, Lewis, Donahue. Uh, thank you, Secretary Tutwiler. This could not be happening as well without you or Commissioner Ortega. Uh, Secretary Jones, thank you also. This is also a partnership, clearly, with uh, education, workforce development. Uh, I do want to take a moment to thank President Podell, Dave Podell. And I... I <laughs> There were many times that I called him up, Nate McKinnon from the Community College Association, saying, we're thinking of doing such and such. What do you think? And gave feedback and gave direction and really helped make this happen. And so when I say that this is a partnership of many layers of government, that actually is, is a fact. And uh, we are here today to celebrate that as well. So I want to thank all of the other community college presidents, because what you hear that is happening today and, and other days here at Mass Bay is happening at the other 14 community colleges as well. So I want to give all of you a round 
a round of applause. And I do want to note that we are acutely aware that this is a process. This is an ongoing process. We continue to work with the Association of Community Colleges, the, the presidents, uh, the administration, because we realize that there are other uh, consequences of such an incredible in growth and enrollment on, on so many different levels. And we will continue to work very closely with all of you to ensure that not only our students get a terrific education and have the supports and resources to stay in that educational setting, but that the faculty, the staff, and others have the schools, have the supports and services and resources that you need as well to do this. So uh, we will continue to work with you with that. Thank you, Mayor Szyzycki. It's great to see you always. And I would like to thank not only our two students that we will hear from, Sarah and Grace, but I'd like to acknowledge the other students that were here that told us their stories that were wonderful to hear from. And from the bottom of all of our hearts, we thank you for today and every day for being here um, and for coming back to school and, and taking the chance and taking the risk. And we know you will succeed. So uh, we wa I want to acknowledge Grant, Marina, AJ, Sarah, Dan, Marie, Odin, Noah, and um, thank you so very much, Sarah, also. So thank you so much. <laughs> to, uh, it was just short of two years ago, January, when we get re, re inaugurated or sworn in. Um, about two years ago, I laid out a plan for free, universal free community college. I talked about how uh, we have a Student Opportunity Act. We're first in the nation, Massachusetts. We should all be very proud because it's all of your collective eff efforts. First in the nation, K-12, Student Opportunity Act, uh, leading the nation with that, but that we needed more than just an act. We needed a student opportunity plan. And as part of that student opportunity plan, we needed a plan for uh, college, public higher education. I'm a product of public higher education, and I believe that uh, we had fallen short, frankly, of uh, doing what we needed to do as, as a commonwealth. And in talking with the governor and lieutenant governor and, and secretary and, and other senators, uh, there was uh, unanimous support to do something about that, to take action, to be proactive, and uh, create a situation where we could be first in the nation for public higher education as well. And that was the genesis of uh, Free Universal Community College. Uh, also the genesis of uh, saying to my team, let's do tuition equity while we're at it, uh, and making sure that our immigrant children who have been here for their high school education, graduated, have a degree, GED, uh, and plan on staying here, that we give them an opportunity to reach their American dream as well. So that's why I am so proud and thrilled to be standing here today to celebrate this partnership, to celebrate what we all together have accomplished. Um, you know, when we first raised this uh, in the Senate budget and worked alongside the House, the administration, and community colleges to get this done, uh, we weren't certain that we'd be able to do it. I know there were people that thought, oh, this is once again focusing on, on higher ed. It wasn't going to happen. Uh, but everybody rolled their sleeves up and made sure that we got it done. And today is, is a celebration of all of that. Um, and it's making it, it's changing the, the narrative for all of the students that are here and will be here and across our community colleges from I wish to I will. And that is very powerful. Made it possible, making it possible for our students to achieve their dreams, where they had either, and we had heard stories, they had given up on their dreams because of so many different tough circumstances. Uh, and now they can stay in school, complete their education, move on if they want to other things. Um, you know, this is so important 
regardless of age, regardless of family background, regardless of where somebody lives. This not only helps our current students, but this is intergenerational. Parents who go back to school, uh, I remember when we were at Middlesex Community College a few months ago, Jose talked about his 14-year-old daughter. He went back, to, he was a Mason, he went back to school at Middlesex Community College, never thought he'd be able to do it. He was going into life sciences as a tech. And he said not only was he making himself proud, but his 14-year-old daughter was proud. And for the first time, she was talking about going to college. So this is an intergenerational thing that uh, we are really making it transformative for families at all different levels. This also will help our workforce gap. We acknowledge we have a workforce gap in almost every single sector. Our community colleges fill the gaps in healthcare, uh, early education and care, life sciences, um, you know, so many automotive, you know, which I applaud. That's uh, an area that I have a definite interest in. And it's great. We need uh, skilled, talented, folks going into all of these areas and community college is a great door for it to start and not only will it um, make um, all of the community colleges in enrollment which is going through the roof as you've heard but it will also as students transition we're trying to make it easier for them to transfer their credits to our four-year state universities our UMass system so I, I think that not only will community college enrollment grow it will help grow our state universities and our UMass system, and I believe help us be number one in the country for uh, public higher ed as well. So I couldn't be prouder uh, to stand here with our governor, our lieutenant governor, our, my Senate and House colleagues. Um, this truly is a wonderful celebration, a great day. And with that, uh, I would like you to uh, put your hands together to welcome uh, How Senate Chair of, of Higher Education, Senator Joe Comerford, uh, who's done a fabulous job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm so delighted to be here, Governor, Lieutenant Governor, uh, Madam President, Secretary Tutwiler, Chair Rodericks, uh, Chair Rogers, President Podell, uh, Mr. Mayor, and all my Senate and House colleagues, uh, Sarah and Grace, who will speak to us shortly, and all the students, faculty, staff, administrators, and college campus presidents. Today belongs to you uh, as we celebrate our state's historic investment in 15 uh, what I call mighty equity workforce and opportunity engines. Um, we have already seen the transformative impact of Mass Reconnect, thank you, Governor, uh, and Mass Educate builds on the success of that program, allowing more Commonwealth residents access uh, to the promise and power of a higher education degree. It really sends a clear message, the same message that you'll find displayed on banners hung across Greenfield Community College in my district. Um, President Shute is here. Three words read, you belong here. Those are three good words strung together. Uh, President Shute also talks about uh, changing family trees, and that's one of the secret powers of community college. Um, so the investments in free community college and across the higher education ecosystem in this year and uh, last fiscal year have begun uh, because of this administration, because of this legislature, to reverse a, a decades-long trajectory of disinvestment. Uh, in this beautiful public higher education ecosystem. And together we've said no more. We're not pulling back. Uh, Massachusetts is leaning in. Um, and these investments include the highly regarded and aptly named success program uh, expanded this year to include community colleges and state universities providing targeted and proven wraparound services for the most at-risk students. And we heard about, as the governor and Senate president said, we heard about some of these services at work on the students uh, who you'll hear from today and who we heard from earlier. 
We've also funded an initiative to end food insecurity on college campuses and have expanded dual enrollment and early college funding to break down as many barriers as possible. And in the spirit of we're not done yet, um, which is, I believe, the spirit that the Senate President calls us to, the partnership between the legislature and the administration will all de also deliver, as uh, the Senate President said, on strengthened transfer pathways between two and four year institutions, even as we address deferred maintenance on public campuses. Chair Rodericks is uh, passionate about deferred maintenance and wanting to tackle it uh, to ensure buildings are green and healthy and able to support the 21st century learning and education that we know is happening. And, and, I'm going to turn the page, and uh, we're also going to focus on higher education quality and affordability, exploring the state's financial assistance programs, as well as what's needed to recruit and retain faculty, and to wrestle what, with, with what we're calling the total cost of college. Now, friends, we are really lucky to have higher ed commissioner Noe Ortega and his expertise and at the heart of this work, as well as the commitment of the secretary and the administration. Uh, because again, we are not done um, making these kinds of advances. We are similarly lucky to be urged on and bolstered by some of the best higher ed advocates in the nation, many of whom are here and helped refine this vision and this program, uh, with a special thanks to Nate and Mac. Um, and in closing, I, I, I want to join those who have acknowledged the leadership of uh, Senate President Karen Spilka, whose grit and commitment uh, to public higher education inspired and drove uh, the funding and the policy uh, that we are celebrating today in our work in the Senate. Uh, thank you as well to Senate Ways and Means Chair uh, Mike Rodericks for seeing this vision through uh, in the black and white of the numbers on the budget pages. Not an easy task. Um, Today's investments and the work to come are profound down payment on the future of our Commonwealth, uh, and they will be for generations to come. Thank you so much. And I'm, uh, thank you. I'm really delighted to welcome up my House Chair on the Joint Committee on Higher Education, Dave Rogers. Mr. Chair. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be here with all of you on this exciting day. It's great to be here with the governor, also known as my favorite constituent, and um, uh, with the lieutenant governor, Senate President Spilka, Secretary Tutwiler, President Potel, Mayor Sosinski, obviously Commissioner of Higher Ed, Noe Ortega. Um, I also want to thank Speaker Ron Mariano, who could not be here, but who's been a stalwart supporter of public higher education. And of course, uh, House Chair of Ways and Means, Aaron Michaelwitz, who also has been a stalwart supporter. And of course, all my House colleagues and our friends in the Senate. Uh, what a turnout. Uh, of course, also students, faculty, administrators who are all here. And um, this has been just a transformative time in public higher education uh, in Massachusetts. It's, it's truly remarkable. And I, I really want to thank uh, the governor for her amazing leadership and, and the Senate President and Speaker Mariano and all my colleagues. Um, uh, Mass Educate is a landmark breakthrough in higher education to make community college free. It's a major investment in our future, ensuring every student will have access to higher education. Uh, I'm one of seven kids. We all went to college. I think of my mom, though, who grew up um, in modest means in a small farm town in Iowa, a brilliant woman. And in her generation, women, uh, she passed a while ago at age 95. She had a long, eventful life. But in her generation, uh, women didn't go to college as much. And frankly, uh, uh, folks uh, of modest means couldn't afford to go to college. I wish she were here today to see this. Uh, it's just remarkable how many students are now going to have access to higher education. And um, while we're here to celebrate free community college, it's also, as, as Senator Comerford said, all these other remarkable breakthroughs right now, in-state tuition for undocumented immigrants. Uh, uh, any student now who comes from a family income of $110,000 and less will have their uh, college tuition cut in half. Cut in half, not just free community college, but at our state universities, at uh, UMass. So um, it's a transformative time. It's an exciting time. I'm uh, pleased to play my small part in it. I'm glad to be here with all of you to celebrate. 
And I now want to turn it over to the Secretary of Education, Tutwiler. Uh, he has just been amazing. Um, if you're ever in a meeting with this guy, he's just like crackling with energy, with enthusiasm. <laughs> Uh, the passion he brings and that Commissioner Ortega bring and that the whole team that the governor has assembled bring to all of this work is it's amazing. It's great to partner with, uh, with him and with all of you. So Secretary Tutwiler, uh, without further ado, please join us. Well now, I'm going to start by crackling with energy and enthusiasm <laughs> and say good afternoon. This is a celebration, is it not? Yes. Are you happy to be here? Yes. I am thrilled to be here, uh, and I'm glad to be here with, with, with all of you. And so uh, I'm going to fight uh, all of my sort of internal uh, intentions here and be really, really brief, right? Uh, I want to start by uh, extending thanks first uh, to President Podell for hosting us today. Uh, it wasn't but a little more than a year ago when we were with you uh, launching the beginning of Mass Reconnect, a very, very successful program. Thank you uh, for hosting today. And I feel like I've been here a lot recently and um, want to ask you to hold a cube space for me, um, you know, so the next time I have a place to work. Um, the other thing that I want to do is extend my, my deep, deep gratitude uh, to Senate President uh, Spilka for her incredible vision and in championing this really, truly transformational step forward in Massachusetts. Thank you, Senate President, for your push in this arena. And then I want to thank uh, my bosses, uh, Governor Healy and Lieutenant Governor Driscoll, for their push to get this to the finish line. Right? We are here today celebrating a really important step, and it would not have happened without our partners in the legislature, Chair Rodriguez, there's other uh, legislators here today. Thank you all for getting, helping us get this to the finish line. One more thanks uh, to Commissioner Ortega, his team, Jose Luis Santos, who's standing in the back, uh, also Nate McKinnon, for all of their work on making sure that we're able to implement this. Thank you. Uh, the final thanks, um, I, I, I mentioned finish line, but this is really the beginning, right? Uh, and so I want to turn to uh, our colleagues, uh, uh, the, the community college presidents, thank you uh, for your leadership carrying this forward. You're the ones who are going to breathe life into this incredible program. Thank you to you and your teams. I had the great pleasure of meeting Josh, who's standing back there, who does not like attention. Um, <laughs> But every community college has a Josh, an individual. That's going to be a new coin, uh, term that we're going to coin. Uh, we want Joshes in community colleges, people who make sure that students have access to what they need to be successful. Thank you to you, and thank you to all the faculty who are here. Your expertise, your commitment, are going to, are, all of that is uh, uh, the recipe that's going to make this program uh, successful. Uh, the other thing that I want to briefly lift up is that when Governor Healy and Lieutenant Governor Driscoll uh, assumed their leadership position, they made clear to the cabinet, myself, Secretary Jones, that the goal is to make Massachusetts more affordable, right, more competitive, and more equitable. When you think about what Mass Educate does for the 10,000 new students who are now accessing community college, the 45,000 students who are impacted by this, I would say confidently that we're putting giant check marks into each one of those boxes in affordability, competitiveness, and equity. The last thing that I would say is um, uh, I realize that I'm the Secretary of Education. Uh, I take that role seriously. I also acknowledge that I no longer have a first name. No one calls me Pat. It's just Secretary <laughs> Tutwiler. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, I am a teacher, right? I am an educator. That's how I think about things. That's how I approach problem, problems and solutions. Uh, it, that is my orientation every single day. And my mission as an educator has always been the same. Doesn't matter whether I was teaching world history at Brighton High School or leading the Lynn Public Schools, Senator Crichton, my friend from Lynn is here. Uh, the mission has always been, been the same, and that is to create the conditions for students to realize their dreams. When we think about what Mass Educate 
is already doing and will continue to do. It is that and so much more, and I feel privileged to be a part of this important step forward. Uh, and so I hope that was brief, uh, and I was committed to being that because now we have the opportunity to hear the most important voices in the room, the students. And it's my pleasure uh, to introduce Sarah Gutierrez, who's from Cape Cod Community College. Had the pleasure of meeting her in the back room just a little while ago. I know that she hails from Honduras originally, and she's also a student trustee. And we're just so incredibly proud of her uh, and support her in every way. Sarah, come on up. Um, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Um, good afternoon. My name is Sarah Gutierrez. I'm currently a student at Cape Cod Community College where I am pursuing a degree in business administration. I have the honor of serving as a student trustee representing the voices and interests of the student body. Today, I want to share my excitement about a transformative opportunity that has recently become available to us. Massachusetts now has one of the most comprehensive free community college program in the nation. <laughs> through, through the Mass Educate program, I can focus wholeheartedly on my education without the burden of student debt. This program is not only just a financial relief, it's a gateway to a brighter future for many students like me. The ability to pursue my academic goals without worrying about tuition costs has invigorated my passion for learning and personal growth. Reflecting on my journey, I remember a time 10 years ago when I had to drop out of college due to financial constraints. It was a difficult decision that weighed heavily on me, leading to increased stress and taking a toll on my overall health. I often felt lost and uncertain about my future. However, with the launch of Mass Educate, I see a renewed sense of hope and possibility. This program has opened doors for individuals who once thought higher education was out of reach. Mass Educate covers tuition and fees for eligible Massachusetts residents, making it possible for students from diverse backgrounds to access quality education. This program not only alleviates financial stress, but also empowers individuals to learn new skills that are essential to today's job market. This skill, the skills we acquire through our education will ultimately contribute to building a more skilled workforce, which is vital to the economic growth of our state. As one of the first beneficiary of this incredible opportunity, I feel honored to advocate for this initiative and represent my peers. It's inspiring to witness how Mass Educate is changing lives and enabling students to pursue their dreams without financial barriers. The program promotes an inclusive environment where everyone can thrive academically and professionally. I am incredibly grateful for the opportunities that Mass Educate provides. It has not only transformed my educational experience, but has also rekindled my enthusiasm for learning and personal development. As we move forward, I encourage all students to take advantage of this remarkable initiative and embrace the chance to expand their horizons. Together, we can build a brighter future for ourselves and our community through education. Thank you so much for your time. I now have the honor of introducing Grace Arena, a Mass Bay student. Okay, 
Good afternoon. <laughs> My name is Grace Arena. I'm an 18-year-old from Framingham, Massachusetts, and I'm currently attending Mass Bay Community College with a plan to major in nursing. I graduated from Keefe Tech High School this past May as a student in the Health Careers Program. Through that program, I was able to get my certified nursing assistant CNA license and worked in the field at just 17 years old. My teachers, Mrs. Graham and Mrs. Roy, helped me apply for and get a job at a rehab hospital in Westboro, where I worked throughout my senior year in co-op. I worked with some of the best nurses who were always eager to teach and show me just what nursing was all about. From that point forward, I knew that I too wanted to become a nurse. Mass Bay immediately caught my eye as the next step in my educational journey as an affordable and very reasonable option for school. I was also curious about this building going up here in Framingham. <laughs> as the second oldest of four kids and the oldest daughter, finding an affordable option for college was going to be essential. I applied for and was accepted into Mass Bay in December of 2023 to my delight, and from that point on, I started preparing for my first year of college. This past summer, a few months before I would start classes, my mom received a message from my aunt asking if she had heard the governor's proposal for free community college in Massachusetts. We were surprised and had not heard of this yet, but were very eager to learn more. Together, we searched through the web and read any article we could find about this proposal. <laughs> my mom and I signed up for and attended an informational Zoom meeting that Mass Bay was holding about the subject of free community college, which is where we learned about Mass Educate and the amazing opportunity that it could provide for us. We were told that by completing the FAFSA and enrolling in at least six credits, my classes and books would be totally paid for. This was truly life-changing news for my family. To me, Free Community College has allowed me the chance to focus on what matters, my education, rather than how I was going to be able to afford my education. As someone who has always taken my grades and assignments seriously, and still does, I was so beyond excited to learn I could now put all my focus into doing well in my classes. I wasn't going to need to stress about how much I had to work each week just to be able to pay for school. I could put it aside and really experience what college is all about. Mass Educate has changed the course of my college experiences in such a positive way. So far, my parents have been able to afford all the bills, send two 16-year-old twins through driver's ed at the same time, and even take time off of work to spend as a family over the summer, all because the stress of paying for my college was lifted off their shoulders. This impact will continue even after I'm out of community college, as I won't be drowning in student debt or have to worry about huge loans that need to be paid off. I'm sure it's the same way for so many other families as well. Without Mass Educate and the opportunities it has provided, I would not have been able to succeed in what I enjoy doing to the extent that I am now. Truly, my family and I will forever be grateful for this chance and everything it has given us along the way. I came to Mass Bay before I knew of Mass Educate and I'm so glad that I did. I knew that this school was going to be the right fit for me and it has already done that and so much more than I can ever imagine. I truly hope that this is able to be continued in the future and that so many more families are given the opportunity that mine was. We could never say thank you enough for all it has already done for us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah and Grace, both for your words. You're, you're speaking for the, the 10,000 students who've uh, joined community college since uh, Mass Educate began a month ago. And I want to just say a couple of words. We think about higher education moving very slowly. I think we've proven with Mass Reconnect and Mass Educate that we can move quickly when we need to and when the opportunity presents itself, particularly when our legislators and our uh, governor and our, the administration put their faith behind us. We move quickly, and we've made it, uh, this opportunity possible for so many. I'd also, in all the acknowledgments of people, we didn't acknowledge my colleague, the president of Framingham State University, Nancy Naimi, who's also in the room. Which also gives me a moment to highlight the importance of thinking of Mass Reconnect and Mass Educate as springboards for bringing more students into higher education, public higher education, who otherwise might not, who will come through the community colleges and join the state universities and University of Massachusetts. Very important factor. Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming today, but we now have an opportunity for uh, the people here to take questions from those of you who may, might have some. So uh, any questions?
A good question. I think all of the community colleges are trying very hard to get the word out in as many languages as we can. Uh, many of us are working on our websites to make them multilingual. Uh, it's an effort. We need people to partner with us and to help us get the word out, but we're going to be focusing on it very much um, as we continue to promote Mass Reconnect and Mass Educate. Good point. Good to see you as a uh, board colleague. Uh, so here's what I would say. A um, couple of things, and in response to the question that you asked, thank you so much. Uh, first, there we have some muscle memory from the Mass Reconnect experience on how to make sure the message gets, has a far reach into communities that frankly historically have not been reached. Uh, and so uh, some of it is through social media, some of it is through, uh, through the governor's office making sure that we're uh, engaging and reaching the media outlets that most impact those communities. And it's not, no disrespect, not always the Globe, not a, it's uh, local community papers, it's radio, making sure that we're advertising robustly in those spaces, and then also partnering with other community-based organizations that have touch points uh, with, uh, with people in those communities. Uh, Mass Hire is one of them that we've partnered really closely on with the Mass um, Reconnect uh, launch. And uh, to your point around high school, like how is a high school student, a high school student might decide, hey, my next step, I'm not sure what my next step is, and I don't even know what's available for me, and I don't know, geez, I don't even know if I can afford it. Um, the Mass Association of School Counselors, uh, we partner closely with them and are providing a training for them to make sure that counselors are very familiar with this program and know just how to guide students to it. Um, thank you, everybody. Thank you to Senate President Spilka, Chair Rodericks, Rep Gregoire, Rep Donahue, Rep Lewis. Um, I see Senator D. Domenico, Senator Crichton, Senator Eldridge, Rep Sousa, who we were here before, and you spoke about your own educational experience and how powerful and transformative that was. And look at you now. So here we are. Um, let's, thanks, everybody, and uh, keep up the good work. And congratulations to all the students and faculty for you know, the opportunity to uplift this great program here today. Thank you. Thank you.